hello everyone so today we are going to show you how can we create an account in office 365 that can be used as a test account or as a trial account or you can say you can use it for lab testing purpose so for the learning purpose you can use it and even if you are going to purchase a Microsoft 365 licensing still you can utilize the same trial and convert it to your regular normal uh, commercial account I'm not going to show you how the what would be the difference between the various plans what would be the uh, which plan you can choose for the testing purpose which plan you can use and why that uh, I have created another video with the Office 365 beginners to uh, professional series in that you will get the entire detail of various plan what are the differences and what features you will get today I'm just going to show you in this video how can we sign up for trial account so this link I will share it um, in the description box once you reach to this location you will get these other trial account uh, differences uh, you can see it here office 365 e5 and e3 so I'm going to take an e3 at this moment because e5 is not available in a couple of regions like especially in the if you are in India uh, it's not available for the trial purpose and voice co capabilities are not supported due to some trial restrictions and all so for the US it is available and can be used so now I'm just going to take it uh, 365 e3 plan I just clicked on that so now it's asking for the user account uh, I can just put it one user account here here you can use your personal account or gmail account outlook account any account that doesn't matter click on next to continue okay so it's saying it's look like you have not created an account let's get it started so I'm going to set up this account okay you have to choose your number your region so I'm going to check it here I'm not going to put the business number at this moment I change my region as India I typed a number here but you can make sure it will send an authentication request okay let's with continue on the next now it will ask for a call and then it will test it out so let me send a verification code and again continue on this it will ask for verification and then once I put uh, verification code and then next continue on this okay so I have done the uh, enter the code which I received on my number and when I clicked on next I'll be getting an option to choose the business identity here is your business name or the name which you want to associate with on microsoft.com domain for the more details you can also go on my video uh, office 365 uh, beginners to professional in that I have explained uh, how you can choose this domain what would be the requirement because in this video I'm just showing you the steps to create an account so we can just add it here name like I have taken it one let me check this okay now it's available so I can take it like this it's SPL test one dot on Microsoft.com it is the default domain that would be created along with this account further I can use my own custom domains I will show you how we can create it in the uh, my different video 
it's for beginners to professional series okay I just clicked on next so it asking me to set up a name so I'm taking up a name here SPL admin you can choose your name as per your requirement and I'm going to set one password okay asking me to share the information so the Microsoft partners and tips if you want to opt these options you can opt it or you may skip it click on sign up so it will create your account make sure you must remember this name and this entire FKDN for the login purpose in your trial you will be getting 25 licenses for 30 days so these are the more than enough time duration where you can test your test labs analysis or things what you want to see in office is okay thanks for creating your account with us skype us and you are all set it's just about to refreshing our page okay now it's done so this is my user account ID you have to keep it with you uh, as a safer side I can just copy it from here okay and then go to setup so what it will do it will prepare your office 365 environment and once it would be ready it will take a couple of minutes to get ready in the meantime I can just copy it in the sticky notes okay no sure. now you can see uh, install office option is giving it gives you uh, add domain add users connect your domain share Microsoft Teams so these are the couple of options where you can e continue it's in welcome screen if you don't want to go there you can just simply click on here and click on office 365 to get it ready okay okay so here you can see the office 365 initial dashboard and this is your admin dashboard so account sign up is very quick and easy couple of things are already in progress uh, let me quickly show you show all so you can see the exchange is there all admin centers from here you can see Azure Active Directory is option here I will explain all these options in my series Office 365 Beginners to Professional you can uh, view this these videos where I will explain how we can use these options what would be the testing things and all so this was this video was about to just how can you sign up and trust account with Office 365 you have an option to try it for Office 365 E5 where you will get additional functionalities like uh, voice capabilities etc but uh, in India it is not supported in US like currently I have opened this in a US center so um, it, it is available for me I can test it out but I have shown you that Office 365 E3 plan where that is still available in India and you can see it uh, in INR instead of dollar here once you choose the country as India a couple of only differences between these two are only related to some advanced compliance limited functionalities threat protection and the voice compatibility options are not available we'll explain it in detail what would be the difference between these so thank guys it's all about uh, this